Hi, this is Michael from Southern Fire Guitars. A few weeks ago, I got an email from this man, and he said that he had a box. It wasn't a cigar box. It was a, a little box that his father used to keep his shoe shine stuff in. And he was wanting to know if I could make a guitar out of it for him. He said it was an old wine box, and it meant a lot to him. So I told him to send me some pictures and the measurements. So I looked at it and I said, yeah, I can make you a guitar out of that. And he said he didn't want any kind of electronics or nothing fancy in it. He just wants an acoustic guitar that he could sit on his porch and pick on. So he sent me the box and the box looks old. It looks worn. The box could probably tell many, many stories. I really like boxes like that. You know, those old worn ones, even cigar boxes like that, because they look like they've been somewhere. So here's a picture of the box as I got it, just like this. Now he asked if I could sand all the writing off the box, just leaving the little B and the logo emblem in the middle of the box. So that's what I did. So come on in the workshop and I'll show you what I've done so far to this wine box. This is what I've done with the box. I've sanded off all the writing other than the little logo in the middle of the box with the B on it. Sanded it all off and gave it a little clear coat. Put two sound holes in it. And it is a good sized box. As you can see, it's 13 and a half inches. And here's what the inside looks like. I painted the front part where the sound holes are, so it looks nice and dark in there. And it's going to be a through the body design. It's going to come out of the back there, the neck will. I have the neck already built right here that will go into this little wine box guitar. And it's a pretty deep box, so I have pretty big blocks right there to attach the neck to. It's going to fit in there just like that. And it fits perfectly. One thing I wanted to show you about this box is when this thing is closed, and because of the really thin top, which is going to make it a really good sounding acoustic guitar because the top is so thin, and a lot of times you'll run into cigar boxes as well where the top is really thin. And because I have cut this right here on both sides for the next lot, you've kind of interrupted the stability of the, the top of the box. So now you're going to get this, if you can see that. It kind of bends really easy. So when this box is shut... You're getting a lot of that. If you can see it bending in the middle, and a lot of that's to do with because you cut the, the brace off. You, you cut the brace in half right there, so you're going to get a little play there. So what I'm going to do about that is I took some of these guitar, or not, these cigar box little insert pieces, and I'm going to glue them inside the box top underneath just like that. And I got a couple smaller ones because the neck is going to go here. It'll go just like that. And glue them down to make the box top a little more sturdy. There's a saying we use in Florida. If it's not raining, give it a minute. Little thunder, please. Little thunder. Need some thunder. Well, the braces have dried in the top of this wine box lid right here. Let's see how it works now. Well, I think that's worked out really good. I'm trying to, to bend it here, and it's not bending. Let's give it a close and see what we got. 
pretty solid. I didn't put any braces up here because that's where the neck part is going to go. I don't really care about that. Just where the strings are going to be pressing down back here. And it looks pretty solid. Awesome. So what do you think about the new box, Buster? Huh? Looks good? All right. Well, the neck is all ready to go. I've got my little rivets in the end of my neck there for my string ferrules. I've got the tuners on, ready to go. Now it's time to install the neck. I've taken my handy homemade square, made sure the neck is nice and square. And I'm going to drill me two holes here in the front and two holes in the back through the neck and into the block of wood underneath. Now that I've got two holes in the front, two in the back, I'm going to use this little countersink bit there so my screw will be level with the, with the wood. Now I'm just going to screw the neck to the neck block. Well, I've got the neck installed and the box is shut. Looks very nice. Now I'm going to string it up. Well, I have the wine box guitar all strung up and tuned up. I have strings on here 40, 30, 22. And it's tuned to an open G, G, D, G. And it's just an acoustic, and there's no pickups in it at all, and it sounds really, really good. Now let's try it with the slide. Well, I think this wine box guitar came out really nice and it sounds good. If you like cigar box guitars or wine box guitars, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button below and don't forget to hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new one. My name's Michael and I'll see you in the next one. Please give me rain. When the rain starts to fall in, it's going to rain all night long. to fall in.